My name is Hinami, and that's my mother. I've always had some pretty bad anger issues. My mom thought it was cute until. Hinami, come with me this instant. Put it down. Bye, bye, flower. Where are we going, mommy? The doctor. Why? Am I sick? Yes. Can I help you? Yes, my daughter is sick. Do I have an appointment? No, but she is sick. Name. Hinami Fujioka. Here's your paperwork. Waiting room to the right. Coming. A few minutes later. So what's wrong with her? Why is she so aggressive? Oh. Well, your daughter Hinami is physically healthy. What? That can't be. Let me finish. She's not mentally healthy. And we figured out that she is insanely strong. So, for the safety of the people, we will have to keep her for a while. Feel free to visit. No, no way am I ever visiting that monster. I never held what happened against my mother. No point in hating someone you will never see again. Skip forward to 14. I get to go to a real school. I live with a foster family now. My sister is spoiled. Hinami. Mom told me to tell you that breakfast is ready. Okay. I should get ready. Hey, Mom. Yahoo! Hey, sweetie. Breakfast in the kitchen. One hour later. Cherry. <gasps> Hinami, stop scaring me. Now, let's go to class. I haven't even gone to my locker yet. Unbelievable. You're both late. Sorry, miss. My locker wouldn't open. She was helping. It wasn't your fault. Sorry for assuming. Come up and get a sheet, then take your seat. After class. Oh my gosh, wow. This bento is amazing. Want some? Sure. Girls, would either of you like to take an extra gym class? This is where my life took a turn. And me being an overactive wolf, didn't even realize it. Extra credit opportunity. Sounds great. Skip forward to February 9th, the first extra gym class. Is this it? It'll have to do. Um, excuse me, not to sound rude or or anything, but you sure you're in the right class? You boys are stereotypical. Let's play basketball. Imin, it'll be on your team. Okay, sure. We're in. We are? Okay, I guess we are. Don't let me down, girl. Huh? What? Oh my god! Bye, Francis. Hey. Hi there. Do you have a ride home? Nope, I always walk home. Cool, wanna walk home together? Sewer, let's go. Two hours later. Wanna come inside for some water and a break? Yes! Cutie boy, water's in here. May, hum, tell me all you know about that boy. Some of my dad's clothes, and some water. Thanks! Where is your bathroom? Out that door, and it's the first door on the right. A few minutes later. Your dad's got style. Yeah, oh. Hey, what are you? Oh, I'm kinda like, a bat, so... Cool, never met a bat before. Hey, who was that girl in your living room? She's weird. Stepsister. Did your dad marry her mom or something? No, I'm just adopted. As sorry. All good. Chocolate. No thanks. More for me. Ish, so good. Seems like it. <laughs> Wow, she looks so cute. 
From that day on, Andy and I got along great. Well, sort of. He was caring and very protective of me. What happened to your eye? I tripped on a rock this morning. Be less clumsy, please. Hold still. Better? Um hum. And then one day. Hey Hinami, great weather today, am I right? Yeah, your hair is brown, crop. He's even cuter now. What are you doing? Look at me. I hate it when you talk to other guys. I think that's how I realized my feelings for you. I wanted your adorable smile to myself. And your very generous personality. I think you realize what I'm trying to say. I know the position we're in may seem good for it. But I won't kiss you unless you'd like me to. Don't let me down. A month later. Bestie. What is it, Cherry? Someone has been spreading rumors about you. W what? Like what? Saying you cheated. I have to go. Are you okay, Hinami? No, he's gonna think I'm cheating on him. I can't lose him too. I'm just gonna go home. Thanks for trying. Young lady, I need an explanation. For what? The huge cut on your sister's face. Shut up before I make sure your lips are permanently red. Sweetie, calm down. Mummy was just mad. Sweetie, wake up. I'm up. You can go. Why did I come back in here? I'm starting to forget things. Sweetie, wait. Aren't you going to eat? Hey. See, Cherry. You liar. You said you were gay. You even told me you loved me. I can't believe you. Francis. You're an awful friend. I didn't. Don't play dumb. Have you seen Instagram? Your sister posted a pic of us hugging. She isn't even my real sister. Watch where you're going, brat. Im going to hell along with you. Call the police. Some days later. I love you, mommy, but this is my calling. Goodbye. Mrs. Fujioka. Treat her well. Yeah, of course. Next day. Hey, honey, our new house is gorgeous. Some food on the table over there. You okay, honey? Yeah, this bento just makes me sad. Wanna go to a cafe instead? Can we? Um hum. Woohoo, it'll go change. Fellow puppy, hi buddy. Do you always run up to random dogs you don't know? Babe, I'm going to go get my wallet. And yes, I always approach dogs. Are you not timid that they could attack? Dude, I'm literally a wolf. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, I've never seen you in this neighborhood before. What brings you here? Oh, me and my fiancé moved in right there. So, you're probably confused. It's time that I explain myself properly. For a few months, this cold and desolate place was my home. I hated it. It made me feel alone. It made me realize a darkness inside myself, which we'll discuss. Catch. My hashlight in these dank times was my real mother, who felt very sorry for the abandonment, by the way. One day, they decided to release me. Hey, mommy. And then one day, I met him. And so, here I am now. Hey, honey, ready to go? Yes, by Vincent, cafe time. It's really you. Don't ever go near my fiance again. <laughs> Don't cry, babe. I'm here. Two days later. Babe, does this look good? It looks amazing. You're so ready for that job. But come here. 
Bye, honey. I can do this. She looks familiar. Better head to my department, whatever that is. This place is a mess. I'll just file my papers and go out for a coffee break. 30 minutes later. Were you waiting for me, stalker? Hinami. I don't want to hear it. One single minute to explain myself. There's no reason. I'm getting married in two months. Let me explain as friends then. One minute, as friends. Okay. Francis told me that you thought it was the picture that made me assume those things. But Cherry told me you had been cheating. And it wasn't Cherry's fault either. Cherry was forced by your evil sister to ruin your life. If she hadn't, your sister's evil friend may would have choked her to death. That can't be. Sadly, it is. <laughs> hey, don't cry. I need to go. <laughs> Honey, are you okay? I'm ready to talk about my past. Are you positive? Go get comfortable. I'll make snacks. You promise you're ready? Um, hum. Where should I start? The beginning. Okay. Three hours late in because you already know her past. Well, yeah, that's it. Sorry you had to go through all that. It's okay. My dad used to beat me every time I would shapeshift. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You make it all better. What are you wearing? Clothes. Have a good day at work. Ill eat in a bit. Hey, mom. Hey, sweetie. How's it going? Great. We're all settled in. That's good. Hey, listen. I'm at work. I have to go. Love you. Okay, bye, mom. Love you. I'm alone. After eating, then changing. <coughs> Cute dog. You love me, don't you? Yes, sis. I need you to bring someone to me. Anyone for you, my love. Okay, I don't know his name, but he has red and white hair and is a shapeshifter. You can't have him. I hate being told what I can and can't have. Babe, get her. I'm gay, and I don't know who you are. I'll come back with May, and your debt when that happens. Aren't you that girl from my extra gym class? Yeah. We talked a few times, but I never got your name. Mine's Todd. Hinami. Anyway. See y'all later. She isn't going to touch my fiance. Later that night. Hey, babe. Okay, first off, you look wonderful. Why are it's you really here? Her. I'm working. Just wanted to say hey. Three shots, please. Coming right up. Bye, babe. What the? I'm so sorry. No, I was the one who treated you badly. You shouldn't apologize. But my sister forced you. How did you? Andy, life's just stressful right now. Tell me about it. Wait, darn it. Where did he go? Who? My fiance. You're getting married? It doesn't matter. I think my sister just stole. Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> Are you okay? I can't live without him. I can help. How did you find us? I'm assuming you don't know my power. Duh. I can sense people's presence from up to 2,000 miles away. I know where your stupid sister is, as she has a boy with her. Your fiancé, I'm assuming, and she's armed. So, we can't just strike. We don't need defenses. Lead me to her. Whatever you want. Bro, you guys are crazy. Um, hmm. Now let's go. Fine. Nice try, but you can't locate my presence. She's in there. Wait, I just wanted to say, I love you. I always have. Now, let's go. May. Surprised you know my name. I've been in your sister's shadow for so long. You know how that feels, right? Yes. It's your fault your sister is that way. Did you know that? And no. Oh, by the way, I'm your real sister. Bet you didn't know that either. 
W what? Once when I was little, I GL'd our family dog. Mom took it as a threat, when really it was just a malfunction in my power. I was two, and mom gave me to the mental hospital. I don't even know why they took me. Soon, after she had you, while I was four, she stopped visiting. It was like I was non-existent. When I turned seven, I broke out. And then when I was nine, I heard she put you in the mental hospital. I protected you from afar. Then you got adopted. I heard Clarissa was your sister, so I befriended her. And here we are. But why'd you help Clarissa hurt me? I had to make sure you were strong. I won't be around for much longer to protect you. What does that mean? Dad's calling me. I can feel it. Anyway, I need to tell you something. What is it? Your fiancé is about to GG. What? He isn't the one. Then who is? Goodbye. Babe. Honey. No. I am. Sorry. That evil girl wasn't even your fake sister. It was a demon who possessed her for some stupid deal. So, we can't GL her. And your boyfriend was also a demon. Meaning he was dead. H, how do you know? My real name is Lucifer, more commonly known as the Devil. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Satan would have GL'd me. Now, I'll teleport you all home in bed. Hinami, meet me in front of our school tomorrow at 2. Okay. It wasn't a dream. He's dead. Tomorrow at 2. The next day at 2 o'clock p.m. She's not coming. I freaked her out. You actually came. Um, hum. I just want to say, I really like you, and I want to be with you. I'm sorry. I can't forget him. Well, I guess I'll just have to make you forget. Babe. Our little secret. Okay. So for now, allow me to fill you in. Let's start with Andy. So, yes, I'm still with him. I don't think for much longer though. I found out what he did to me, and we got Guido a heated argument, where he told me that Lucifer was his good side, and Satan was his evil side. Still feels wrong either way. He's losing interest in me, so I'll soon be set free. Okay, now for the person I always think about, Aka Aaron. I still love him, but he's dead. And then there's Todd. I told him that I didn't feel the same way towards him. He understood, but he told me he didn't want to be friends anymore because it hurt too much. And then we have Vincent. He's honestly so amazing. He makes me happy. I think you'll find out the rest by watching. Enjoy. When you get back, we need to talk. Okay. I can't stand him sometimes. It's hot outside. Hey. Hey, Beastie. Glad you could make it. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Can I see him? Yeah. Make sure you support his head. I just wish me and Aaron could have had something so beautiful. I'm so happy for you, Cherry. Thank you. Anyway, I must go. Bye, bestie. I'm so fortunate to have you. Ready? Yeah, I guess. I'm sorry. I can't forget him. For everything. I was the one who fell for you. Not the evil part of me. I was the one who believed Cherry. He was the one who smacked you. I was the one you told you didn't want to date. He was the one who made you. I am the one who loves you. He is the one who hates you. And so, for you, I'm leaving, and never coming back. If you have something to say, I'd say it now. You probably won't be able to say it in the future. Good luck. It's always me. For a while after that, I was depressed. Hey girl. What? How are you feeling? Bad. Hmm. Well, do you want to hang out? It might make you feel better. What about your son? He's spending quality time with dad. All right. Yay. Where do you want to go? Hmm, let's go clubbing. What? Can I dress you? No. A few minutes later. Let's go. Okay, he'll admit, I had a lot of fun that night, and when Vincent walked in, the night only got better. My head, where am I? Vincent. Hinami. He's dreaming about me. V Vincent. Wake up, Vincent. Two hours later. 
Hinami. Hinami. How cute. 